in this video, we are going to discuss uh, some working together type of problems, as uh, some of you might have seen. So we're going to look at two different types of problems here. Uh, they're both working together type of problems, but there's two different ways that you can do them, or typically two different ways you'll see them. Uh, so John can perform a certain task in 12 days, Adam in 9, and Bill in 18 days. In how many days will the task be finished if all three worked together? Now, maybe at first glance, you might look at this and go, well, wouldn't we just average 12, 9, and 18, and that would, you know, how much average time it would take for all three of them to do? But if you think about it, if you took the average of this, that would be, uh, what, 13 days, but Adam himself can do the one job, his task, in nine days, so why would it take him four more days when two other people are helping him? So we're not necessarily finding the average. So to do this problem, what we need to think about is one of the main principal um, formulas in science classes is distance equals rate times time. Okay, if you want to figure out how far you're going to travel or how long it's going to take based on a certain speed, your rate, we would use distance equals rate times time. But we're going to apply this instead of being distance equals rate times time, we're going to think of this as jobs or tasks equals rate times time. Now, we have to have three of these equations, though, because we have three people. So if I think of, I want to put little sub J's here for John, I'll put little sub A's for Adam and sub B's for Bill. But John, John's jobs equals his rate times his time. Now, it takes him one task. He can do one task in a matter of, what do we say, 12 days. So his rate, John's rate, would be 1 12th, or one task per 12 days. And if we apply this similarly, we would also find that Adam's rate is just one task per nine days, and Bill's rate is one task per 18 days. Okay, so I, I would just use the same thing, but I'm just gonna skip the other two uh, formulas here. Now, if they're gonna work together, that means they have a combined rate. So I'm going to use now T for total. So their total rate would be John's rate, working with Adam's rate, working with Bill's rate. So now we have three fractions to add together here. And let's see, what's our common denominator? 36. So we have 3 36, 4 36, and 2 36, which gives me 9 36, which is 1 4th. So in total, they can do one job per four days. Now that's the answer right there, is really the four. But let's put this into a little bit more context, so hopefully you understand what we're really going to do with that one-fourth. So let me get a little bit of space in here. I'll keep all the rate stuff down there. So if we wanted to talk about uh, total now, jobs total equals rate total times time total. Now, we're only doing one task. Now, sometimes a question might ask, how long would it take them to do uh, two tasks or three tasks or whatever? And then you would just adjust this number. Now, their total rate is what we already talked about with the one-fourth, and time is what we are solving for. Now, just to solve this equation, we'd multiply both sides by four. So that cancels, and four times one is four. So working together, it would take them four days to do that. Now, that's the same thing as I mentioned over here, that it was one task per four days. So we didn't necessarily have to do that. But if the numbers were a little bit different, again, if you had more than one task, um, or the next problem we'll look at, the people aren't necessarily working together all at the same time. So here's one example of working together. This is kind of your straightforward working together type scenario. The other type of problem is this. Let's say we have Tim and Tom. And Tim can do a job in six hours, and Tom can do the same job in eight hours. If Tim starts a job alone for two hours, and then Tom joins him and helps him out, how long does it take to complete the entire job from beginning to end? Now, Tim and Tom aren't working together the entire time. So what we need to consider first is, how much of one job has Tim completed in the two hours? Well, you know, if we have... Again, jobs, uh, let's do job sub Tim equals rate sub Tim times time sub Tim. 
Well, we know Tim's working two hours. We know he can work at one sixth, one job per six hours. So we're going to figure out how much of one job Tim has really done. So two times a sixth makes two sixths, which is a third of a job. He's already got a third of the job done, which means when Tom jumps in now, that means they have two thirds of a job to do together. Okay, so this is what we're going to kind of start out with is the two thirds. So let me erase this much. Let me get rid of Tim stuff here. So now let's talk about total. Now, together, Tim and Tom only have to complete two-thirds of a job because Tim has already started ahead and has done two hours worth. So now their combined rate, this is what I kind of need to do over here, Tim's rate was a sixth and Tom's job was an eighth. So what do we got? A common denominator of 24. So 3 24 and 4 24 make 7 24 is their combined rate. And now I want to solve for total time. So now, if I want to get rid of the 7 24 I can multiply both sides by the reciprocal. And 24 and 3 knock out with an 8 left over. And so I have 8 times 2 is 16 sevenths. So total time that it takes Tom and Tim to do it is 16 sevenths. I want to know how long does it take from the beginning to the end. So 16 sevenths was the kind of combined work plus 2 hours that Tim was doing his job. Well, let's see, two hours is how many sevenths? Well, it's 14 sevenths hours, right? 14 divided by seven is two. So 16 sevenths working together plus 14 sevenths of just Tom working, or Tim working, sorry, is 30 sevenths hours that it took all together, aka what, four and two sevenths hours? So this is a different kind of problem where maybe one person gets a head start and then they work together. So it's to me, it's easier if you figure out, well, what fraction of a job is left over from the initial job, from the one person starting ahead, uh, that you can then work with the combined rate. And that is all for the working together problem.